Kyle, how old are you? Uh, I'm 32 years old. You're 32. And how long have you been homeless for? Uh, a year, a year now. A year? Just approaching a year, yeah. What happened? Uh, basically, I had my family, I had Mrs, um, my daughter, stepdaughter as well. Uh, things didn't work out with me and her. Um, obviously, my relationship with my dad isn't too close, so uh, I had nowhere to go, so I was forced to live on the streets. Okay, and where were you living before? Uh, before I had my flat with uh, my wife. And uh, what was your life like before being homeless? Normal, everyday life, go to work, wake up, go to work, come back, pick the one up from school, just and where did you used to work? Uh, I used to work for myself. I was self employed as a pastor. And uh, when you became homeless, how was your first day being on the streets? Uh, it was tough, but I found some of my homeless people around here that turned out to be long life friends now. So they made it a bit easier. So what's the toughest part about being homeless? Struggling with the food. Get by to be able to eat, survive really. Where do you sleep? Uh, at the moment, I'm sleeping in a car park. A uh, charity organisation, a lady approached me, and she was nice enough to give me a tent. So at the moment, I'm in a tent. I'm sleeping in the back. And uh, what do you miss the most? A uh, nice hot cooked meal and a nice warm shower, I hope. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And. Um, you know, if you switch roles with the people and uh, with the regular people walking past you and you saw someone like you, what would you do for someone like you? First thing I'd do is offer them a nice hot meal, maybe some money so they could get by. Uh, if I could, buy them a change of clothes and offer them a hot shower. Okay. Yeah, that's And uh, being homeless for one year, what's the nicest thing someone has done for you on the street? Nice lady two weeks ago, my trainers were falling in the park, so she bought me a new pair of trainers. Right. So, <laughs> okay. I would say that's the nicest thing someone's ever done for you so far. And uh, what's the meanest thing someone has done to you? Uh, weed on me when I was asleep, if I sleep with back. Say that again? Weed on me when I was yeah. asleep. Is there any skills and talents you have that you feel potential employers could benefit from? Uh, I'm a qualified data communications engineer. And uh, I've been a classroom as well for about 17 years, so I'm qualified in classroom and rent. Amazing. And uh, what gets you through the tough times? Just the thought of getting my life back on track, of finding somewhere to live, somewhere warm, sheltered, and just solid accommodation, even temporary. If you could go back, what would you change? If I could go back, I would have uh, not lost myself and stayed stronger and not left to the streets, found another way to get by rather than this life. Do you not have family that, that would help you? No, no, no family or relatives, not local. And um, the last thing is, what's your final message to people that are going to watch this video? What message would you like to give them about homeless people? Uh, we're not all bad, so our final message. We are still human, um, but if you ever do become homeless, always make sure you find somewhere safe to stay, out of the way. And just try to look after yourself, keep your hygiene up, whether you wash yourself with baby wipes or whatever. And just try to be aware of everything around you. Just try to keep strong.